Subscribe to Serving It Raw. Yesterday's price is not today's price. Just make sure the coke fire. Told the jeweler cut some links and bring the gold higher. He wanna shoot it, he hot headed, he ghost rider. Send him through your shit like Robin Givens with the old iron. Swing it, fork in the glass pot clank. Holding the boat, they shit sinking. I make one brick two without blinking. They was sleeping, now I got them rethinking shit. Yes, Lord. You tapped into Serving It Raw Podcast. I am your host, Gutter Kane, the Gutter Man, the Pyrex Iron Chef. Yeah, I ain't whipping nothing right now. <laughs> and it's your girl, Kilo Graham, a.k.a. Kilo. And we are back in the kitchen. And what are we discussing today? So the topic today is, is Rock Marciano the most underrated rap artist? So that's the topic. I personally feel that Rock Marciano is very underrated. Not only because of his production, but I think he's underrated as an artist as well. That's why he's in my top five. <laughs> but I up? think he definitely is. Like that's one from the first time you played him, it's like the bars just caught my ear. Yeah. You know, the the beats that he makes, they're so different like out of the box but they're dope like sometimes i'm listening to his beats and i'd be like how the fuck did he come up with this yes. right yes and we did that but with, um... he kills every single one yeah why he ain't talking about more i don't know but do you, i don't i don't know sometimes i feel like do you think he wants to be like mainstream because you know how some artists they're comfortable I ain't gonna say comfortable, but it seems as if like they're like they have like this this lane, mm -hmm. and they kind of stick in that lane, like 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 how we, the conversation we had about zero, you know, I can, you know what yeah. I'm saying like they they have a certain lane that they're you know they're at the top of their. Well, bar a lot of times so. to become more of a commercial artist, uh -huh. you have to do certain things. You got to listen to other people. You can't a hundred percent creatively be yourself. And I feel like for a zero or a mark a rock Marcy, for them to to be who they are, yeah. they they where they at is good. <laughs> so yeah. I understand it, but yeah, you know, because I feel like if he does, if he goes too far mainstream, I feel oh like, he'll he'll, yeah, lose. he'll lose. Like they want to make more songs about girls and yeah. just. He'll probably no. lose the creativity that brings it to him. Mm -hmm. Well, we're gonna tap into some of his videos. Or, or for my listeners, uh, for our listeners, excuse me, pardon me, <laughs> for our listeners, you're going to hear the songs. I want people to really pay attention to the wordplay because that's that's the thing that gets me. Because a lot of people, you know, they, they be like Jay-Z, you know, and, and, <laughs> and uh, you know, Biggie or something like that with the wordplay. But I think Rock Marcy is just, you know, one of those, one of those guys. You know. I swear I've listened to his songs like hundreds of times and every time I hear a song, there's something that pops out that I didn't hear before. Yeah. Yeah. I do the same thing. I do the same thing. Well, this one right here is his uh, Rosebud Revenge compilation. Um, and what I like about this video is actually three videos in one. <laughs> so, you know, uh, it's, well, it's one video. Mm -hmm. Let me take it back. It's one video, but it's like three different songs, and he cut videos for. And so um, I like. I know the first one is Rose Rosebud's Revenge. Uh, shout out to Rosebud, double dose of this pimping. <laughs> and um, and then he was uh, let's see, Rosebud Move Dope. And then I think it's uh, Here I Am is the last song. And so after that, we'll you know discuss it. All right, but here's uh, Rock Marcy right here with Rosebud's Revenge. Shut up, this thing. I want to start with some bacon soda. Some eggs, too. Why 
them younger sluts play double dust. My new Mac 11 came with the muscle on the front. Nigga, this ain't no front. My taste buds trump your flavor of the month. Raps can't fuck with me, you can't name one. I paid a lump, the table spun. I did my blood name dust. The gauge pump turned your brain to mush. Slug make the potato bust. A match with that Draco does. Give you a halo. I'm a sniffy gay off a J-Lo butt. It made a clear face go numb. Shut up! It's over with. Hold this shit, show me shit. Shoot out some foes, your lord. Hold up, I think my show dead. <laughs> think I'm head, nigga. Shit. You say what? Ah. Call one more. Let me see. That's the shoulder wound, my nigga. Shit went straight through. Good. Let's go. Get back. Don't think you can't get clear that where you living at. Fast, I put a nigga in a trick bag. They send you to your mama, gift wrap. Yeah. It is what it is, fuck what it could have been Read the bulletin, just some shit to put some bullets in Get the clips you push this in Look what I did here with a broken pen My stomp and leave a Gucci footprint You ruined the pimp, burned off good man The handle on the burn of wood and Nigga ain't no what ifs It's all real, there ain't no other way to put it Niggas pussy, they don't wanna see us masked up with it us, nigga. <laughs> Niggas better off sneak this in Who's mm-hmm. kids, I might send you home with your sneakers missing mm-hmm. Listen, be the only bitch for me, she easy pickings If she easy, I do the greasy like Chinese chicken Smoke blunts back with back, roll punch back The bag make a bunch of cord snap Pull up the farms with my gorgeous ass My smile's pulsing and my hood's a gauntlet Me like them, my shit more lit, it's orange Come on, baby Say this once, once only, I'm a control freak I got mind control over freaks uh. We chefing up Who you think you impressing, we dressing up uh. Don't stick your chest out, you get your breast cut uh. Get off my left nut, I pull a seven up Y'all ain't said much, my young niggas head hunt How your shit looking like egg food young Y'all finish, y'all done I might done you with the small gun My man brought me drum, let's get a drum or something Rubber pump pump I let a hot one run and you come a bun Blood was all on his tux, but nah His buddies thought he might eat a few, he was muscular But he didn't, he finished I had the mask on, I had to just lift it To let him know who did this I, did this. I ate your food, it was delicious My Haitian bitch, you doing voodoo with the chickens All these rappers out here, rapping about the whole thing they got that from the pimps. They, they got that from the boogers. They got that from the pimps. You know, they're not pimps. They're not pimps so, at all. Rappers are rappers. Pimps are pimps. Dope dealers are dope dealers. Hoes are hoes. Real ones. So the, the real shit is the real shit. Alrighty. So we're back. Now, there's a few things I need, we need to digest okay, <laughs> in this situation. Now, for the first song, Rose Buzz Revenge. Now it was uh I had to had to pull up his lyrics on this one just because the ones that's, the one air uh the bars that stood out to me because first of all I like I like his simplistic ways he does his beats okay mm-hmm. it's almost like his verses is becoming another instrument for the beat okay right. so you don't really focus on that they're the standout yes mm-hmm. okay but now I want to point out to the audience now. For this one, for the first song, he had a little, he had a little partner. He said, the gauge pump turn your brain to mush. The slug will make your potato bust. Imagine what the Draco does. Give you a halo while I'm sniffing yayo off a of J-Lo butt. Like, <laughs> it, I mean, it, it speaks for itself, mm-hmm. the punchline itself. But the, the wordplay, the rhyming scheme. Is what I want people to understand. You know, it's it's just a completely different rhyming scheme. Okay. Then he comes back and he does the move dope. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now the line that stood out to me was just the ending when he just ends it with, "I'm a control freak. 
I got my control over <laughs> freaks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that's that metaphor is what stood out to me out of that one. And then, you know, obviously, in Here I Am, it was rubber tum tum. Mm -hmm. I'm making a hot one running. You come above. Now, this is what you remember <laughs> about that. I didn't know what the fuck a come above was, okay? I had to Google that shit. And now, for people that don't know, a come above is a thing that goes around your waist when you're wearing the tux. Who would have known? <laughs> I did because oh. I was in marching band. <laughs> okay, see, see, I didn't know that. So I'm like, I'm like, what the hell he putting up? He putting a how you gonna put a you know a bullet in a nigga come up on his in his abdomen? Damn, the whole time. But what you think? I mean, not 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 merely about the lyrics, but you know, just overall, you know. Uh, I feel like once you listen, there's nothing more to be said. Very <laughs> true. Yeah, true. The only thing is that I've heard like some people and they be like they don't like him because he's not as animated. They feel like he he's more monotone in his speaking, yeah. which he is. He's not like a stove god, you know, where it's really exciting and, and it's really attractive to your ears. But still, if you like get into it, no. you can still be amazed. Well, okay, well, let me tell you, I know you're not, well, I know that you have listened to Cameron, but I know it's not, like, I know Cameron and Mace, both of them having that type of monotone type of, you know, their own, like, type of flow. It doesn't grasp you like a rock. Why is that? Um, I, re I really think it's just his work. I don't know. It's something about the wordplay. It's the, the, the production that I like, like, I don't know. Nothing about Cam ever. Really got you. I got at you. At all. I could dig that. At all. And Mace, if you can't say nice, nothing nice, you don't say <laughs> nothing at all. So. We're going to try to say something nice. Um, I think he played basketball very well. I wouldn't know. <laughs> all right, well, we're going to move on. All right, the next song on our playlist today is going to be Richard Gere. Stripes far more than I'd like to remember My life is like a wild adventure uh, Cops tried to pinch us, niggas piled up in my mama's central I had the nine with the condenser uh, Your tea go from white to magenta when them shots enter Hit you and left your body bent up You know the chain of command, if it's for dollars then we could probably link up But otherwise it's unlikely my nigga I'm not to be taken lightly, I'm a silent killer Do me a solid, come suck what's behind the zipper I steer the ship, my I'm the skipper I don't fish, I'm more guy fishing But just a bit richer There's no magician that can trick us No roots, no chickens can spook us We ain't superstitious I'm with your bitch in the booth In the roof, Chris kissing We slid in the back door and walked through the kitchen Ass so fat that you had me tripping Like trying to stick raw strickling my aura glisten, I shot the ball with the stick from long distance And went off the grid to chill just like a baller with a torn meniscus I still never slipped with all this water dripping Knocked the game up, it was more than just more than sickness I hit the floor to beg for the lost forgiveness I done lost my discipline, I'm tempted Listen kid, I'm still on that pimp shit My shooter's like Larry Birdie from Port-au-Prince He not from French Lick uh. This shit is intrinsic My niggas killed, that's how we build friendships Till in your membership's pending Pinky ring with the time and pending It's swinging I'm in the European speeding up and down London
Very soulful. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. So, where you want to start with? Let me just get into the lyrics. Just get into the lyrics. All right. So, lyrics on this one that I wanted to point out was this one where it was a few uh, few bars in here. Okay. First one is, you know the chain of command. If it's for dollars, then we probably could link up. Self-explanatory. Chain. But you say you threw the metaphor in there. Chain. Link. That was just like, okay, that was slick. Okay. But then he comes back and he said, <clears throat> I'm not to be taken lightly. I'm a solid killer. Do me a solid. Come suck what's behind the zipper. <laughs> I still the ship, ma. I'm the skipper. I don't fish. I'm more guy fisher, but just a bit richer. Now, let's 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 uh let's digest some of this, okay? Now, <laughs> self-explanatory, okay, on the whole, do me a solid, you know, penis mm -hmm. hard, okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, we got that. Now, skip on to the part where it says I still the ship, ma, I'm the skipper. We already know that. Get get, get, get inside. Right. Okay, mm -hmm. skipper, okay. Good. But he said, I don't fish. He said, I'm more like Guy Fisher. Now, for people who don't know who Guy Fisher is, Guy Fisher was um, a gentleman, African-American gentleman, that pushed a lot of weight back then in, the, I think, the late, I think the early 70s, I believe it was. But, you know, he was part of the council with uh, Nicky Barnes. He was also the first black person to, I think he actually owned the Apollo. But I like how he threw that in and the wordplay of it. But when I'm listening to Rock Marcy, it gives me this, like, I need to continuously do better lifestyle. I, I, one thing I like about his videos is he actually pays attention to luxury. Like, you know how people, like, people go out and they get all these Jordans, but it's mm -hmm. like, it's not really luxury, okay? That's not something that's going to appreciate value, okay? Right. And mm -hmm. so... When I listen to a lot of his songs, he's more of that person that's like, you know, invest in like wine. Like mm -hmm. I've never really seen it. I think I've only seen maybe a Hennessy bottle in any one of his videos. Whether than that, it's, it's mainly like wine or things that you can invest in. You know, wine is like a good thing to invest in. Champagne is another one. But, you know, you know, he takes, you know, trips to Paris. But even when he goes to like places like he goes to Tokyo on, on one video. Mm -hmm. And it's like he goes and he enjoys life. And that's one thing I don't think a lot of us do as individuals, you know, especially it's like we come in. Like, I know people that come into like 15,000 during income tax because they had kids, but they don't never they, they never take any trips. They never go and see anything. Even stuff is just here in the United States right. of America. Just you buying know. more Jordans, yeah. TVs, dumb shit. Credit. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And do nothing. You never build your credit. You know, you, you don't own a house. Like, there's just things that you, you, you know, you don't be like, oh, let me take a little bit of this money and, and purchase, you know, an acre of land or anything. It's like, you don't do anything with your life. And then it's like, you're spending so much time. Like, I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to help this person. I'm trying to fix this. I got to, I got to do this. I got to take care of this person. And you ain't taking care of your damn self. And then when you get about, you know, 60, if you make it that long, then you die. It's going to be a whole, a plethora of shit that you could have seen or enjoyed in your life, but you didn't live your life. Come on, bitch, you right? Already, you know what I'm saying? You just stuck in one spot. So, that's kind of what I get from my listening to him and looking at his videos. Is there anything that I need to tap on that I didn't tap on? I just need to know when he was born. He just gives me a vibe. All right, he, let's... There's a feel there, and I just need to know. <laughs> well, let's go in here and look. <laughs> he was born February 11th, 1978. That Makes boy's an perfect. Aquarius. <laughs> that boy is an Aquarius. That's where I'm getting it from. Yep. Mm -hmm. That boy is an Aquarius. But see, he's a February Aquarius, which it's all, I got it. <laughs> well, you can't say that because our son, sir, I know. is a February Aquarius and he'll look at that. Like, <laughs> Nah, but he's actually he's actually real good. Oh, let me tell you what he did when he came home today though. He he walked in the door, he saw the you know the animals and stuff, like the dog and the rabbit and everything we got. And he comes in, he was like, How was y'all homeschool? <laughs> I was like, what the hell? Like, you know what I'm saying? He's like, he started like talking to him, like, how was your homeschool? How was your how was your school today? I'm like, man, he is like just like this enthusiastic like type person, like just charisma is just out the water with it, but and crazy. Yes. Well, let's stick to the let's stick to it. 
Mm. All right, so we're gonna move on. This one is uh, Downtown 81 by Rock Mars. Jealous hoe, LOL, LMAO The all white out for a mayo Look like yayo I'm on my way, yo If the clothes made by whole sway Then it's fuego The coke got flames on it Like it came straight from Waco The cream sway Kanye's is Alfredo Scott Bayo, Mayo I'm waving hi to a hater, bitch, I may know Drive by, spray a Laredo with five Dracos Behind on the rape though, it look like one of Drake hoes The shape is cold, I'm baking coke I made all this cake, I'm scraping the bowl like an eight year old Shake you out to Jay's major ankle roll Do you dirty like Kobe did Jalen Rose Uh, come on, be you 81 Basquiat downtown, 81 Uh, 81 Basquiat downtown, 81 Gucci frames was made in 81 I'm in the Mercedes, I'm doing 81 Kobe gave the homie Jalen 81 81 So now that was Rock Mars's Downtown 81. Okay. And now the lyrics that stood out to me in this one, these bars, was where he said, the coke got flames on it like it came straight from Waco. Okay. First bar. Waco, you know, by David Koresh, down in Waco, back in the 90s, was like 93 or some shit like that. They had a big old shootout, coke, some other shit. Okay, but that's what he was talking about that, okay? He was talking about that situation. Now, then he turns around, he says, the cream suede Kanye's is Alfredo. Okay, he's talking about the Kanye, Kanye, the Yeezys. Okay, mm -hmm. yes. Okay, Scott Bayo, which, okay, he got me with the Alfredo because I was hungry. Okay, he went to, you know, cream from the Alfredo sauce. Like, you see what I'm saying? You saw just the wordplay, okay? Then he turns around, he says, mayo. Okay, then he says, I'm waving hi to the haters. Bitch, I may know. Okay, we know that. That's a metaphor. Mm -hmm. Mayno had the song "I Hate the Leaders." Yeah. Okay. Now this is when it gets a little bit, but even like more with the wordplay. Okay, in the metaphors, he says, "Drive by, spray your Laredo with five Dracos." Okay. He said, "The behind on the Wraith, though, which he's talking about the Rolls Royce. That's a car. Mm -hmm. Okay. The behind on that though looks like one of Dracos." You see what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> the mind frame to be able to use, like, I'm fascinated with cats to use words like that. Like, that's actually, that's poetry. That's mm -hmm. what, when rappers use that stuff, it's, it's poetry, okay? Y'all need to stop just being like, oh, man, that flow, that flow, that flow, that flow. Most of these cats use the same flow, but pay attention to what they saying. They do the, the word play. What they talking about? Does it mean something? Okay, is it like I'm just going in the bathroom and using toilet paper? Like, is it just that simple? That that simplistic? Or they actually, you know, having a meaning behind the shit that they saying? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then just the ending part when he said, "I do your dirt like Kobe did Jalen Rose, nigga." Like off top, we know that Kobe scored 81 on Jalen Rose. Shout out to Stone because I know he's a big Laker fan. But look, <laughs> but it's just the way he uses his words is what makes. 
me feel like he's so underrated. Mm -hmm. You know, and like I said, and, and the fact about his beats. But it's like a lot of people won't get his beats because they're like, oh, you know, they, they so like, outside the box. Yeah, they yeah. Say, I'm, I'm trap, trap, drill, trap. And it's like, dog, you got exactly. you got to come out of that mm -hmm. shit. You got to come out of that. You know what I'm saying? Because the more shit you listen to is the more mentally you're going to kind of be it. You know, like it, 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 it can drain you. You know, if you listen to a lot of depressing music, you're going to eventually become depressed. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's just that simple. If you if you listen to, about popping pills and doing drugs and shit, you probably going to end up popping fentanyl and all this other shit. So it's like I pick and choose certain artists to listen to, even newer artists. I just pick and choose which ones to listen to. And it's just like I try to take and pay attention to different stuff like not even stuff i see in the video like in the video my listeners obviously you know they didn't have to check out the video but mm -hmm. in the video when he was walking through the hotel and he had the robe on and he just noticed that one of the lights was out mm -hmm. he stopped you know what i'm saying T you know twisted it back in got it going again it's just paying attention it's like just you know, being clean, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you know, you want your house to be clean. It's like just taking the time to appreciate life. He literally could have just walked past that damn life and be like, fuck that bitch out. It just mm. kept going. But it's like the fact that he's paying attention. Like, dude, I'm enjoying my life. I'm finna make this this bulb shine again. You know, right. whatever the case. That, But that's how I pay attention to stuff. You know what I'm saying? In, in different music videos. So, but that's kind of what I got from that one and stuff like that. But that's what I wanted to point out for that one. Is there anything else that you, I mean, you saw in that that you? No, I was just gonna say, you know, that's kind of similar to the way that people look at hip hop. Like right now, everybody's doing trap beats, so they're just associating the trap beats with that. But I'm like, there's so much more to the genre. You just have to get into it, and that's where you will find your Brock Marcy's or. Uh, I grew up listening to Jean Grey. A lot of people yeah. don't even know who she was, or even to this day don't even know who she was. But I'm like, she had bars. She was really good. Everybody just was Lil' Kim, Foxy Brown, all of that, which is mainstream, so I get why. But if you're a true fan of the genre, then dig into it. See what's all out there. Because there's, trust me, there's a lot. There's more talented people Lord. Then what we see mainstream, there's even more talented people or people who are more talented than the ones that are mainstream. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> well, he uh, produced the whole project with Stove God. And they are magic. Yes, which I want to see. Oh, this they are magic. because Not only because they both got bars, they both can spit some shit, but they're kind of opposites in their delivery. Yeah. So it just it just works. It just works. If I'm sitting in the house and I hear the butchers coming, I, my ears are open. <laughs> like, what is he gonna say? What is? <laughs> Cause he's gonna drop something. You know what I'm saying? They're all unique. Westside, his voice is just and it's crazy because at first when I heard his voice, I was kind of like, but once he gets to doing his thing and on the beats that he chooses, it's like. It fits. It just works. It's magic. You know? Conway. Yeah. Yeah, so I think the thing with West Side Gun is like a lot of times he kinda like it, it, I don't he doesn't sound like Ghostface, but it kinda gives you a taste. Maybe the, yeah, of it. But mm -hmm. um, But he's what? still West Side. Like you want yeah. you wouldn't listen to West Side and think he was Ghostface. Mm -mm. They they have they're two completely different artists. That is definitely true. That's definitely true. Yeah, I think uh I think a lot of them are killing it. Um Chase Fetty. Yeah. And like we said, we already talked about Flea. Yeah, Flea mm -hmm. Lord, um, uh, 38 Special. Uh I think the whole uh Black Soprano family is 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 really doing, especially him and, and uh, yeah. Rick Hyde. Yeah. I was gonna say mm -hmm. I was listening to him. Him, yep, him. Yeah, I yep. was listening to him earlier today. Yeah, I try to I try to tap into everybody. I try to tap into South, West. So I don't think I'm being biased at all. Cause that is not the case. But it's just I really want to put a spotlight on on Rock Marcy because, you know, he he started being part of the Flipmode Squad. 
you know, he was one. Of, he was one. He was in flip mode. Right. With, uh, you wouldn't have told Busta. me that. I would have never yeah. known. <laughs> I just heard Busta. He's made some comments. Yes, yeah. and he said he, how but, talented he is. But you know, that's just a name that I really don't hear in the industry, and I'm like, why? And he definitely needs to get his respect. I mean, you know, even if you do something like Coachella, or you have these festivals, mm -hmm. he's he's one of the ones that I would. I don't see why, how you don't have, how you're not having him at these festivals. And and I get, I get, you know, everything ain't for everybody. You know, everybody isn't for everybody. So I understand that. But I'm like, if you're not a fan, it's okay. Don't be a fan. But you cannot deny his talent. You can't say that he ain't got bars. Yes. So <laughs> we have to agree on that. <laughs> yes. Well, this takes us to our last song from him, and this right here is called "No Smoke." This is actually featuring his. Um, I don't. I don't know if he's one of. His, I don't know if it's his artist, but I see him in a lot of his videos, and I know they do a lot of stuff together as well, which is knowledge the pirate. I, I come from the era where you knew who the dope dealers and the pushers and the pimp were, or they had the shoddiest gators. Now you got the cops and 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 the cops they ain't the fattest states. They had manicures. They got facials. They bitches look good. They cars look good. Nowadays, these niggas are selling dope. They look just like the niggas that smoke the dope. I dream a genie in that Hermes bikini. Listen. Yeah. Dream a genie in a Hermes bikini Driving in a Bentador Lamborghini Somewhere in Fiji sipping mojitos and martinis While Trump tweeting quotes from Mussolini Shit, I'm trying to raise my kundalini We all about our chicken and that fettuccine My jeans are D-square, my shoes are Bashimi uh, Sun was chewing zucchini, eating linguine Shit got hot and steamy, sent shots to his beanie uh, I'm from a block where they watching and scheming Plotting and squatting with the chopper and squeeze it uh, Let it fly and disappear like who I'm out of drawers Past the crime scene, make sure his food was finished Found his body laid on 129 in Linux yeah, that's how we handle it. I was sus. Them hitters was out of town. Yeah. They don't know who did it. Man, them niggas are from the road. This is where his soul was setting. Word. Fucking lame them ass. Niggas fold as he told on his cold defendant. Word, boy. That nigga out of here, man. He broke cold when he's told on his cold defendant. Stay spray like shooting range. I got shoes for days and nothing new. I'm still doing things. I still clean my jewelry with two face. Drive bys in the Taurus show. Silent murders with the crossbow. Might blow this whole elbow. So fuck me, really hell no. Rain, hell, snow. I smell like coke. Might drop a M on belts and coats. Kel Tex, hell close. The Code 40 got the elephant nose. You already know how the hell this shit goes. That's my word, these proverbs. I was waiting on my return, I had some time to burn It's a broken promise worth, these are honest words My mom's just trying to earn a dime to calm my nerves Flying spurs, swerve, all kind of furs With drop bars and curl, watch pies get turned The flies burn, you must be high on CERN You got nerve, they might have to buy you a high shirt Fuck with me, boy Fuck out of here, bum ass My bitch a white fox, go get your shine box you ride a knot, I had your body tied in a knot The Cardi Lyman on the rocks Diamonds on the watch You ain't got the chops to trade shots To chop away a lot You try hard to keep it stabilized You do this pain with your lives Spray you, just a favor to the gods Sacrifice you, nigga Take you to the altar, nigga Drop me in the volcano, bitch. Got me back in my bag. Yeah, all that good shit. Light your ass up, bro. Marcin, no smoke. 
What you got before I get in these bars? Man. <laughs> that that's one of my favorites. I think. I think that wants to be one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. The beat is just so clean to me. It gives me that. I like that guitar riff. So yeah, yeah that like, guitar riff is a motherfucker. Boy. Makes you think of Foxy Brown, Chuck Turner. <laughs> Motherfuckers, you and me could both we could do business. Cut that act, bitch. Before you get that piece out, your ass is air conditioned. Because every time I hear this song, I actually I, that clip just plays in my head and I just want to laugh. Okay, going there. <laughs> All right, and then uh, what else? What else you think? What else you like about it? I mean, he gave us the bars as usual, the video was clean. Yes. The feature artist was just as dope. Like them shoes was clean. Them but, shoes was. But I think though. But I think, though, but I think fucking with Balenciaga right but now. I think that's what them shoes were. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he's actually big on like Paris luxury type of items. Mm -hmm. So like you know, um, like Balenciaga, um, not Chanel, but uh, Versace. You know, he's just, he's big on those like Paris you know type of things. Yeah, and I see shit. like he'll have like the I don't know what you call them shirts, but he'll have like the shirts and they'd be like. I don't know. It's like a. Uh, I know what I'm trying to say. You talking about the one, the one he just had on that looked like he had tattoos on it? No, not that. No. But like in in other pictures and stuff, like how I see him dress, I can see oh, okay. like when you say that, like yeah. Well, the only bars I, that I want to point out on this one was um, actually two things I want to point out. So one was. He said, I got shooters for days. Ain't nothing new. I'm still doing things. I still clean my jewelry with toothpaste. This is what people understand. What I, this is what I caught out of that. When he said, ain't nothing new, I'm still doing like, I'm still doing things like he's still doing old things that he used to do because it worked. Mm -hmm. And if it worked, don't <laughs> fuck with it. <laughs> Don't, ain't no need. Yeah, ain't no thing, ain't no reason to mess with it. And that's one of the things I got from that line when he said I still clean my jewelry with toothpaste because I still clean my jewelry with toothpaste, teeth and all, gold teeth, my my grill and shit. I hit with the toothpaste and it worked just worked just as good as going to the store and spending money. Like you don't have to do that. Well, I go to the person who sold it to me <laughs> and they clean it for me. But I, I can I get it. Yeah. <laughs> The and then uh and then the other one would probably be uh might blow this whole elbow. You fucking with me, hell no. Rain, hell, snow, I smell like coke. That one, I mean, I'm a sucker for when it comes to coke bars. Mm -hmm. As we know. <laughs> yes. But people need to know like hey, a whole an elbow is a pound. So you know, so he says, you know, so self explanatory, but mm -hmm. we're following. Yeah, but I really wanted to. I want to point out that that whole uh, two face line. You know what I'm saying? Because that's like I said, he be having some, he be having some some slick stuff in these bars, man. That that brings like some knowledge, and you got to think. And you're right, because every time I listen to songs and shit, I'm like, damn, I didn't catch that the first time. But something like that, or he'll say something, and I just laugh. I'm like, ah, shit, okay, and I got it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's mm -hmm. almost like like a puzzle. You know? Yeah, sometimes so. it takes a time or two for you to listen and and, and figure it out. But that's what makes it. We're listening to over and over again. Rock Marcy's one of those ones that's just kind of, he's underground and he needs to be pushed to the forefront a little bit more. So, you know, and, and, and get the respect that he's due. But that's all I got to say. You got anything else? Rock Marcy, mm -hmm. we give you your flowers. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Rounds with Flea Lord. But anyway, <laughs> we out of here. Peace. Make sure the coke fire. Told the jeweler cut some links and bring the gold higher. He wanna shoot it, he hot headed, he ghost rider. Send him through your shit like Robin Givens with the old iron. Swinging, fork in the glass pot clank. Hole in the boat, they ship sinking. I make one brick, two without blinking. They was sleeping, now I got them rethinking shit.